If you were one of the lucky people to watch UFC 300 live this weekend, then you became witness to one of the greatest moments in MMA, nah, scratch that, in sporting history. With 10 seconds left on the clock in round 5, Max Holloway pointed to the center of the octagon, motioning to Justin Gaethje that it was time for them to throw for the fences. Up until this point, Max was cruising to a very easy unanimous decision, so this was a very risky move considering that Gaethje had plenty of power to put him out, having dropped him earlier in the Fight. But it would be Max that would end up putting Justin's lights out with exactly zero seconds left on the clock. place I was at went absolutely ballistic. People lost their minds. This might partially be the recency bias talking, but I feel like this is at least top three live reactions I've seen to a sporting event ever. And I'm from Philly, and I've witnessed the city go insane when the Eagles won the Super Bowl in 2018. Obviously, this wasn't quite on that level. Nobody flipped any cars or anything, but just the outburst of energy in the moment is very similar to when we were scoring touchdowns on the Patriots. Just an absolutely mind-blowing moment, honestly, and I think a lot of people owe Dana White a huge apology. Just the onslaught of videos leading up to the event calling this the worst card ever and that it was worse than 200 and 100 by a mile. I know a lot of you guys had to be sitting there on the couch with the Kevin Hart I ate ass face. Every single fight on this card delivered except for Aljamain Sterling. But even that was nice. It was the perfect placement for a bathroom break. If it wasn't for Aljo, we'd all just have to hold our pee in throughout the whole pay-per-view and that's just not healthy. So thank you Aljo. We all appreciate it. And if you're one of the guys that's into the real heavy man-on-man -man action, you know, 2024, everyone's included. It's a beautiful thing. But the night undoubtedly belonged to Max Holloway. Max got a double bonus for performance of the night and knockout of the night, $300,000 each, extremely well deserved. And he completely legitimized the BMF title. After that, the title actually means something. It's no longer just a prop. I think it'd be cool if moving forward, every single BMF fight had $300,000 bonuses on the line. That way, they'd be incentivized to fight as hard as they can every single time. I mean, it'd be awesome if every fight had those bonuses, regardless of the title. But, you know, I'm being realistic. Here. Point is, UFC 300 was a huge success. Everyone was happy, including Dana White, by the way. I haven't seen him that visibly excited in a long, long time. When you think about when we were sitting in that room and we created the BMF, we came up with that. Tonight, totally embodied what that belt was built for. And there should be a picture of that fight in the fucking dictionary when you look up BMF. That fight sucked the fucking life out of everybody tonight. I was right. Like, Everybody was, the next two fights, everybody was just sitting there like dead. Like yeah. it, it was like this adrenaline dump. It was incredible. It's like, people always ask me what I do. I sell holy shit moments for a living, right? That was the ultimate holy shit moment of all time. If you were at home, if you were in a bar, or if you were here live tonight, there's no bigger holy shit than that. Absolutely. And that's why, let's just talk about this fight for the rest of the press conference. 100%. <laughs> so that's why Max Holloway is beloved and Gaethje. Max, how many times have you seen a fight where the guy wins, you know he's winning, they click the 10 second thing and the guy puts his hands up and they just run around, move around? Uh uh. He's got the fight won and he's in there with one of the most dangerous fucking fighters in the business, right? And he says, let's do this. And they both fucking oblige and they go in and just start. One second left. And a knockout like that. That's like movie shit. It's one of the greatest moments in UFC history. Without, it's, it's the fight of the year. If something beats that fight of the year, holy shit. I don't want to see the two guys that are involved in that fight at the end of the fight. It's taken me this long to finally get to the main point of the video, but basically what I wanted to say is that being considered the greatest of all time is extremely overrated. I mean, it's nice, obviously, everybody thinks you're the best, but you can't tell me that this moment for Max where everybody is absolutely losing their minds because of something crazy that you just did is any less valid than winning the title. And I'd argue that it's way more valid. Like, I'd rather be Max in that moment than George St. Pierre in any of his title fights where he won. Yes, even the Bisping one. But ironically, 
ironically, that fight, where it wasn't just a 5-0 shutout performance for GSP, was probably the most exciting title fight that he's ever been in. And I don't mean to pick on or single out George, he's one of my favorite fighters ever, but he just happens to be somebody that a lot of people all across the board consider to be the greatest of all time. Of course, a lot of the metrics people use to come to that conclusion are straight up stupid, like saying that George is a nice guy or classy or a great representation for the sport or he likes dinosaurs, things that have absolutely nothing to do with being a great fighter, but that's a topic for another video. All I'm saying is if you had a stranger who wanted to get into mixed martial arts and you had a choice to show him George St. Pierre's fights or Max Holloway's fights, whose fights would you show him? Exactly. Having the title of being the GOAT is great. Having an undefeated record is great, but having awesome fights where you really let it all hang out is much, much greater. Just ask Bilal Muhammad. And decades from now, nobody's going to care who held what title or who was ranked what and when, but these moments, these moments will live on forever. Think back on the early UFCs. Who remembers the absolute bore fest that was Ken Shamrock versus Hoyce Gracie at UFC 5? That was a fight that meant everything at the time. Now, who remembers Gary Goodridge obliterating Paul Herrera's face from the crucifix position? That was a fight that didn't really mean much in the context of what was happening at the time, but ultimately ended up being much more rewatchable, important, and meaningful to fans. So not to get all philosophical on you, but the journey is not always about the end goal, but the experiences that you have along the way. Like Dana White said, I sell holy shit moments for 11. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you don't, subscribe, and I will see you soon.